everybody. You see, with that sweeping motion, I said hi to all of you guys and girls. <laughs> Just messing around. What's up, everybody? It's Jared with Heat Press Nation, and we are back for another episode of Heat Press Nation Live. I'm here at the HPN headquarters in Fullerton, California. Why don't you tell me where you're tuning in from? You can comment below. We're going to say what's up to everybody. We're going to give everybody a few minutes uh, to tune in here. I'm going to open up my comments here on this iPad. I have all the comments. They're still, they're still coming. There's like a lag on here. <laughs> yeah, I got all the comments here. So if you have anything you want to say, if you have any questions about the demonstrations, about the products that we're talking about today, do me a favor, drop it in the comments. I'll be sure to get to you as ASAP as possible. Now, today we got some big news. If you've been following us on our live stream episodes, then you know that Black Friday started like, what, two weeks ago or so? We've been into Black Friday for a few weeks already. And yeah, it's barely like November 2nd. Don't worry about it. It's okay, we know what we're doing. So we have some amazing products on sale. You've seen them here on Heat Press Nation Live. And today we have even more products available on sale. Now, if you want to know, or I should say, if you want to be the first to know when we have new Black Friday sales releasing, yes, I did say that, yes. Black Friday, it's, it's not even, it's like November 2nd. Yes, if you want to be the first to know when we have new items on sale for Black Friday, do me a favor, text the word HEAT, that's H-E-A-T, to the number 20198. Again, you're going to text the word HEAT to 20198. I believe it's there on your screen. Uh, yeah, go ahead and send that text message over, and that way you can sign up for our SMS, uh, SMS updates. Uh, you can be the first to know when we have new sales dropping. Like today, we have... Ta-da! We have the Black Series 15-inch by 15-inch heat press. This is on sale at 10% off. Now, these heat presses haven't been on sale since like Black Friday of 2019. So it's like a solid like two year sale drought on these heat presses, of course. Duh, there were some big things that happened in the past two years. But don't worry, things are getting back to normal and as they do, we are bringing back our huge Black Friday sale. So yes, again, you heard me right. It's early November, it's November 2nd. Uh, what else are we doing early? You tell me, I already started my Christmas music, by the way. Like I was driving home uh, from the uh, Halloween event that we had at my church. I was driving home and I already had my Christmas music going, so that gives you an idea. I, I think it's just the vibe here at Heat Press Nation. We just like spring early into stuff, you know? Okay, let's see who's tuning in. All right, we got Paula coming in from Alabama. We got Desmond from Chicago, Illinois. What's up? That Chicago is like next on my list of cities that I want to visit. So if you have any good food recommendations for Chicago, let me know. Uh, Audrey, or Adri, Adri, sorry, <laughs> is from, coming in from Modesto. We got Liana from Arizona. My pal Jesse Gibson's tuning in from West Virginia. Good to see you, buddy. And then Ashley, of course. We've already seen snow in Wisconsin. I wish, right now, I'll settle for what I got. Outside, it's very cloudy, very overcast today. And that's about as close as I'm going to get to winter weather uh, right now. Uh, but I'm not complaining. I'm very happy. It's warm in here because I'm standing next to like a 385 degree heat press. You probably can't like see the warmth, but I'm like feeling the warmth. So I could use a little AC in this room. Let's see. How are my pals on YouTube doing? Brittany's new page says hi. Well, hello, Brittany's new page. Miguel says, que onda primo, New Jersey. Oh, what's up? What's up, New Jersey? Got Julie from Michigan. Brittany from Palmdale. South House, South, oh, there we go. No. Okay, so with the Black Series heat press, sorry, you just saw me freak out. The Black Series heat press has a safety feature to where if you leave it unattended for too long, uh, it'll start to power down. Uh, to obviously, to keep it safe, you should never leave your heat press unattended. Well, this has been sitting for a few minutes and, and it was about to start shutting down. And I'm like, no, because I need it to stay hot for our demonstrations. Uh, there we go. Miguel is asking, any Sawgrass sublimation printer deals? You know, I don't know. So not yet. Those, if they do, Sawgrass usually, and I don't know for certain, usually they'll, they'll tell us dealers how much we're allowed to discount uh, for Black Friday. And so we haven't had word yet. Very likely that'll be 
if it if the sawgrass does go on sale it'll be closer to the actual black friday event on you know thanksgiving week uh but we got lots of stuff on sale right now already what is up everybody oh and a big shout out to my pal ronnie she's helping me in the comments if you have any questions oh what susan duffy's from ireland we're international today very very cool anyways all right enough of my jibber jabber we're gonna get started really quick i do want to remind you guys before i get into our really cool tutorials that yes i've said it already like 50 times i'll say it one more time for now uh that our black friday sale is already running so this press that i'm using today this really cool black series 15 inch by 15 inch heat press is on sale it's 10 percent off and uh, yeah, there's lots of heat presses on sale. We even have the Craft Pro 1515 on sale. If you want a signature series, there's a few signature series models on sale. Uh, the signature series mug press, and I believe even the M-Press mug press. Don't quote me on the M-Press mug press, but the signature series mug press is on sale. Lots, if you guys wanna know more, you could text the word HEAT, that's H-E-A-T, HEAT, to 20198. That info should be on your screen uh, coming up right now. You can also just go to our website, heatpressnation.com. You can see all of our Black Friday deals that are already on sale. Okay, but today I'm gonna show you a few really cool projects for Thanksgiving. Yes, we're not skipping. I know I already played my Christmas music, uh, but we, we can't skip Thanksgiving. So uh, let's head on over to our, to our prep table and we're gonna see what we're working with today. So we have a few things. Now this, some of these blanks we don't carry. All right, I'm just gonna be straight up with you, but don't worry about it. So this is a really cool quilted cloth placemat. And because it's made of polyester, we could sublimate the heck out of it. Now it's pretty big. I wanna say this is about, it's about the size of a medium pizza, actually. Uh, this is about a 12 inch circle. Um, so have no fear. We have our Sawgrass SG-1000 that we used with this 11 by 17 paper to print a really cool big transfer. And in fact, I think I have my sample here somewhere. Yes, I do. I put it over here. I'm back. Look at this. Look how cool this is. And that's one thing that I really love about sublimation is the colors. They're just so doggone vibrant and bold and it looks fantastic. Now this is about a 12 inch placemat. If you had a smaller one, uh, you could sub the whole thing. Or if you have your 1000 with the bypass tray, print on that 13 by 19 inch paper, you could actually sub edge to edge on this sucker. But uh, since we're using our 11 by 17 inch paper, uh, yeah. But it's, it still looks really cool. And honestly, having custom placemats at your Thanksgiving, at your Friendsgiving, dude, that is so sick. All of your guests are gonna totally remember uh, that and it's gonna be epic. So yeah, <laughs> thick thighs and pumpkin pies. Yeah, those those turkey uh, turkey thighs, right? That's what we're talking about, right? <laughs> I love that one. So yeah, so we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. And look, this is polyester. I believe we got this from like Amazon or something like that. So that's a great thing about sublimation. As long as it's polyester, you can sublimate onto it. I also have a polyester apron. All right. And we have a cool graphic. I'm gonna show you right now. This is actually what we're gonna be doing first. But wait, there's something here. It's hidden. Oh no. Oh wait, what's this? This is the Empress 9 by 12. This is also on sale for 10% off right now. It's already on sale. It's part of our Black Friday promo, our Black Friday preview. And it's a swing away. Oh, what in the heck is this? These are our sublimation can coolers. So these are totally sublimatable on both sides. And I'm actually gonna show you how to do these too. Uh, so we have these transfers already printed up. So yeah, if you wanna have, like on this one, it's backwards right now, so you can't read it, but it says 2021 uh, Friendsgiving. If you wanna make your Friendsgiving just absolutely one for the books, these sublimation can coolers are incredible. And if your guests are RSVPing, we're not doing this, but you could even have everybody with their own custom one. That way nobody's drinks gets mixed up. You know, we're, of course, we're still staying safe, uh, you know, still keeping things COVID safe. So yeah, having everybody, or you could leave like a little blank circle and just have them Sharpie their name on it as well. You could do that. Yeah, great way to keep track of everyone's drinks and make your party just absolutely insane. Uh, but first things first, I have this sublimation apron and it's kind of big. So we're gonna take this back on over to our black series. Oh, oh boy. 
our black series 15 by 15. I got my print right here and let's go. By the way, if you have any questions today about the products or the processes you'll be seeing live or that you are seeing live, please do me a favor and just drop it in the comments below. I'm like unraveling this thing. It's really big. There we go. Now these uh, little, I don't know what you call it. They're not, it's not a clasp, but this little adjusty thingy, these are plastic. So of course I do not want them on the heat press. So I'm gonna let them hang off the edge. And because this is polyester, uh, I, another, oh, this is backwards, sorry. Because this is polyester, I do not want it uh, to have any press marks. So I have a pressing pillow and I'm just gonna double check, before I heat press, I'm just gonna double check my pressure really quick to make sure. Now when you're using a pressing pillow, oh, that's, see that's a little high. You don't wanna squash the heck out of it. Uh, it is possible to permanently damage the pillow by applying too much pressure. See, now that's too light. I know it's hard to tell on camera, but what I'm going for is a feel where there's a little bit of resistance. I do want a nice, even and consistent pressure across my surface. So I'm just making slight adjustments. You don't need a ton of pressure for sublimation and okay, that should be good to go. Now I have this right here, it's backwards. So you'll just have to wait until the big reveal to see what it says. Now here's another thing to keep in mind. Uh, my pal Ronnie helped prep these for me and she measured these seams right here. Even though the sublimation transfer could overlap the seam, it's not a good idea. Right along this seam right here, you might see some light uh, discoloration if I were to press over this seam. In fact, I'm tempted to just to show you how bad it would look, but I only have one of these aprons, uh, so I do gotta keep it. So anyways, but she went through the hard work of making sure that this was sized perfectly to fit in between these two seams right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center it. I'm gonna make sure that they are both right here. Another thing that we could do if you're having a little bit of difficulty uh, keeping this centered, in fact, let me grab my uh, scissors, uh, scissors right here. Thank you. If you're having difficulty like seeing where it's at, now this is sublimation, so there's no film. You don't really need to trim it. The only time I ever trim my sublimation transfers if uh, is if I need help like aligning something. So really quick, again, there's no film, there's no need to trim this. Only the ink is gonna transfer onto my blank, but now that it's trimmed, I have an easier time spacing it in between these two seams right here. Now we're working with the Black Series. Black Series does not have that slide out lower platen, but there is a lot of clearance here, so I'm safe not gonna accidentally burn myself, unless I'm being very reckless. Which, hey, let's be real, has happened before. So every now and then when I tear the parchment paper live, I get we get complaints. So today, I'm a pro at cutting gift wrap as well. Hire me <laughs> for all your gift wrapping needs. Okay, so we have the parchment paper over it, the transfer is laid down 385 degrees and I'm gonna set this for 60 seconds, just to be sure. And we're ready to go. Gonna lower this. This, I'm gonna talk about this secondary leverage handle in a little bit. This is really helpful. Honestly, it just, it's just using two hands is just easier. Now this is especially helpful. This one right here is especially helpful when you're in a high pressure situation. Those of you guys who have used the M-Press or the Black Series, uh, and you had to set your heat press for really high pressure, usually for like inkjet heat transfer paper, especially that Nina Jet Pro soft stretch, oh, which I'm wearing today. I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, yeah, you want high pressure on those. And so when you're at a high pressure, sometimes you've had to put like an oven mitt right here, get some leverage to pop it back open. Uh, but with this secondary leverage handle, you don't have to oven, get an oven mitt. You don't have to put your hand down. You just one hand here, one hand here, and it's super easy to open. Even when you're at a high pressure, uh, setting. So that's really cool. We got about six seconds on the clock. I'm going to peel and reveal and then I'm going to take your questions. Uh, there we go. So again, it's just really easy. It also helps me open it nice and slow. Uh, when we're opening the heat press, you don't want it to pop or jerk open um, because then that could cause this to lift and shift. When you're sublimating, you do not want that transfer to shift after it's been pressed. 
the reason for that, I'll pick that up later. The reason for that is the, sub the sublimation ink turns into a gas dye, and when it's hot, it's still active. So that gas dye, it could actually, uh, if it shifts, it could re-imprint in a new area and have like a blurring or a ghosting effect. So we're going to give it just a few seconds to just air, cool, whatever, chill. I don't want it to shift. Um, but after that, we're just going to band-aid, just like a band-aid, just boop, just like that. And oh my goodness, look how bold and vibrant this is. I'm actually going to walk this back over to our table cam. So you guys could get a really good look at this. Now these are not camera tricks, folks. This is the real McCoy. This is the real deal. Like it actually does look that bold and vibrant. That's amazing. Like these colors just came out fantastic. And by the way, sublimation, this is the most bold, vibrant, permanent, and soft transfer on the planet. Nothing will beat this. Sublimating onto white polyester, there's, a, there's not a single transfer on the planet that will beat this. Again, it's polyester, so yeah, there are some limitations, but if you're cool with white polyester, nothing will ever beat this. You cannot feel it. It's ultra permanent. You could wash this thing like a bunch of times, uh, and it's still going to look great. Dude, these colors, like I'm actually, I'm looking at the monitor right now. They look really nice. They look really nice. I'm going to grab the iPad. We're going to check in on your questions. I'm going to let you guys admire this for another second while I open up and see if we got any questions. If you have any questions about what we're pressing today or, or what we're using, any materials, anything like that, please feel free to drop it in the comments. Uh, oh, you know what? Thank you so much, Brittany's new page. Yeah, she says, please remember to give this stream a thumbs up. Yes, if you're on YouTube, like and subscribe. Por favor, that would really mean a lot to me and the rest of the team here at Heat Press Nation. Farp Street says, Jared, I love your videos. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And honestly, it's not just me. I have a great team here. You don't see him, but my pal Alex uh, is over there. He's producing our show today, producing and directing our show. Uh, and it's, yeah, really great team that we have here. So big shout out to our video team. I'm going to be honest, they make me look better uh, than I really am. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so any questions here? Let's go back over to Facebook here. I'm checking your questions. If you're just tuning in, by the way, we're showing off some awesome Thanksgiving projects. I have this really cool, and I'm going to move this over so I think you can get a better, oh no, right here. There we go. Really cool Thanksgiving apron that we just sublimated on. We have this placemat, quilted placemat coming up next. Uh, and then, yeah, we have lots of really cool stuff coming up. So do me a favor, uh, check it out. Check that out. So... I'm just checking in really quick here in the uh, in the comments, see if anybody has any questions, anything that I missed. What pa Oh, that's a good question. Corliss is asking, what paper did you use for subbing? We, for this particular project, uh, we used, what is this? TextPrint R. You hear me talk a lot about, I, I use TextPrint XPHR. The difference is very slight. This is TextPrint R, it came out beautiful. I think re regardless which paper you use TextPrint R, or XPHR, it's going to work great. Now here, I'm going to add to some confusion, all right? TextPrint just rebranded those. So let me correct, let me just give it the new name. It says R, but this is actually DT Heavy. I personally prefer DT Light, but as you can see, this still looks absolutely fantastic. Um, this one that we're going to be showing you guys right now, this, this transfer is printed on DT Light. Honestly, the differences are very, and let's see, this one, these can coolers are going to be done with DT Heavy. Uh, either one, DT Light, DT Heavy, they're both going to come out looking fantastic. Um, that's just what we happen to use for these. How do you know if it's high, medium, or low pressure on the heat press? I have the HPN Black Series. You know what? Let me go ahead. Let's do something really quick. That's a great question. We have the paper pressure test. Alex, take us back to the heat press. If you don't have, oh, I don't even have a, a paper. Do I have a paper? Do I have a blank piece of paper? Yeah, there we go. Let me get, Alex is going to grab me a blank piece of paper. Really quick, in like one minute, I'm going to show you guys how we do the paper pressure test. Now, I had, a, I had a pressing pillow in here, so obviously this is really loose, but it's a great starting point. Thank you, sir. Really quick, in a minute or less, you get a piece of paper, you stick it in a few inches, about halfway or so, close the press. If it slides out, you need to add more pressure. 
So pardon that squeak. This is an older one. We've been using the heck out of this thing. So don't forget to grease your heating elements. So I've closed it. It's a little stuck, but it still slides out. Add a little bit more pressure, like another half turn, quarter turn. Closed it. And now this paper is stuck. This is going to be fantastic pressure. We consider this medium to medium firm pressure. Um, that's going to be fantastic pressure for uh, heat transfer vinyl. Uh, heat, uh, for heat transfer paper, you might need a little bit more. So let's say, OK, so I just got it to medium pressure. Now I want heavy pressure. All I'm going to do is increase, and I, I know you can't see the knob. I'm sorry. I'm going to increase the pressure a little bit. I'm going to close it. And now there's going to be a slight physical effort needed to close it. Shouldn't be impossible. That might be a little too firm. This is about where you want to max out. Now, when we open it, it's a little bit uh, heavy, right? A little bit, it's a little stuck, right? It's not stuck. It's just we're at a very firm pressure and it's clamped down. This is where the secondary leverage handle shines. This is where this handle it becomes a superstar because now we say secondary leverage for a reason. I got one hand here, one hand here. Easy as pie. It is easy as pie. So that's what we would consider heavy pressure. So after you've done the paper pressure test, uh, you're just going to increase a little bit more until you reach this point of like a medium, you know, there we go. You know, a little physical effort needed to close it. You can see here I have two hands and I'm kind of, you know, just closing that. That's considered heavy pressure. And then to open it with one lever, and I'm not exaggerating, like you can, you know, it's a little bit jarring, right? Let's close that back. It's a little jarring, but with the secondary handle, easy as pie, as pie. And that's how you adjust pressure. We have a video on this on our YouTube channel. You could just look up paper pressure test. Uh, if you're not watching on YouTube right now, you can head on over to youtube.com slash heat press nation. OK, I'm back at the craft table here. I'm going to show off a few more items. We're going to do some samples. Yeah, and we're just having fun. We're showing off some really cool Thanksgiving project ideas. We're about to sublimate onto this quilted placemat. And I'm going to spoil it. This is how cool. It's going to look. You're about to see that process right now here on Heat Press Nation Live. OK, let's see, let's see, let's see. Any other question? What's the temperature? I'm pressing all of these at 385 degrees today. Uh, this one, I believe I pressed it for, I just pressed this one right now, if you're just tuning in. I think it was like 60 seconds. And that's about what I'm going to use for all of these. 385 degrees. 60 seconds, that's like my general go-to temperature for fabric or material items. Sometimes I need to add some, sometimes I don't. It really does depend on the blank that I'm using. Uh, but 385, 60, that's a great starting point for a lot of transfers. A few more questions, then we're going to get right back into the, uh, right back into the thingies, <laughs> the tutorials. I don't know why I'm brain farting right now. Here we go. OK. Stevie Steve, hey, better late than never, buddy. So good to see you, man. Um, what type of table am I using for my heat press? It's too heavy for her table. Tracy, this is a discontent. <laughs> hey, I know. We should really switch. This heat press is this uh, table is discontinued. It's an older uh, Instagraphics cart that we used to carry. And we, we don't want to be wasteful here, so we use it for now for this. But you're in luck. At heatpressnation.com, we saw the HPN Universal Heat Press Cart. It supports up to 300 pounds on the top shelf and 75 pounds on the bottom shelf. Uh, Ronnie, my good pal, hopefully she's, she's in right now. I believe she's, yeah, she's sharing links. Ronnie, if you don't mind, can you share the link to the Universal Heat Press stand? Highly recommended. Some assembly required. Of course, they're not going to ship you a gigantic cart. That would just be insane. Um, but yeah, you should definitely use that one. I think you're really, really going to like it. OK, last question. I said last question last time. This one's the last one. Can you sublimate on dark colors? Unfortunately not. So with the sublimation printer, it's a CMYK printer. Four colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, black. That's why we use white. There's no white ink. So any white that's printed on your transfer, like this one, it's actually just a blank space. This, graph, this part of the graphic is white. So the printer is just going to leave it blank and allow the white of my blank item to fill that in. If I were to heat press this onto a black uh, placemat, 
you wouldn't really see my transfer. It'd be kind of like using crayons on a black piece of paper. You're not really going to see uh, what you're designing. So that's why we use white for all of our sublimation blanks. With a few little exceptions, um, you could use, you know, I suppose if we were going to put these on yellow can coolers, this white where there's no ink, that would actually turn yellow. Everything white on my graphic would just be the color of this. And this purple, purple mixed with yellow, is going to give us like a weird off green brown look. So yeah, the color of your blank highly influences the color of your finished product. Um, so yeah, that's why we just use white. That's why you see us use white. OK, who's ready to see how this turns out? Again, this is a kind of big transfer. So we printed this on our 11 by 17 inch transfer paper. Uh, for this one, I'm using uh, TextPrint DT Lite, AKA XPHR. And this is a pretty big, uh, actually, let's just, <laughs> what the heck, let's go back on over to the heat press. Now, really quick, I just, I, we left, when we left off, this was at high pressure. I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit. I don't want it too loose but I don't want it too heavy. Man, we gotta get some WD-40 on that. I'm gonna give it a quick little test press uh, just to make sure that my pressure is gonna be okay for this. And yeah, actually that should be just fine. So I have 385 degrees. I have 60 seconds on the clock. And let's go ahead and do this. Now, you probably, I don't know if you can see or not, I can see the outline of my printed graphic through the back. So that's what I'm using to align it. If you're having trouble aligning it, then with the scissors, you could trim it out. Again, the, the white, there's no film. Nothing's going to, the white is not going to transfer on. When we trim it, we're just trimming it to get a better idea of how to space our graphic. So don't be afraid if you need to trim it. And I'm just kind of using the finger distance method. It's not 100% accurate but it's gonna get the job done today. Gonna cut a fresh piece. Don't be afraid to use a fresh piece of parchment paper. Sometimes when we're sublimating stuff, uh, the sublimation ink, there's a little outgassing and, and it gets on the parchment. You don't want the parchment to re-imprint on your next item or imprint onto your heat press. Okay, 385 degrees, 60 seconds, medium pressure. Let's do this. Okay, there we go, and I'm back. Okay, so we got about 30 seconds left on here. By the way, if you're just tuning in, do me a favor. If you're on YouTube, like and subscribe to our channel, and if you're on Facebook, give this video a like, and feel free to share it with your friends. We're showing off some really cool Thanksgiving projects that you can get started on. Uh, and these are all sublimation today, so we're all about sublimation, and we're sublimating with the Black Series 15 by 15 inch. Heat press. This is on sale. This exact press is on sale 10% off, um, which is crazy. We haven't had a sale on these presses since like Black Friday 2019. So I'm really excited to be in sale mode. I, I mean, I don't know about you. I'm super excited about the holidays. And I'm really excited about this placemat. Custom placemats are an awesome way to make your Thanksgiving, your Friendsgiving, your seasonal gathering, whatever it is that you're doing. It's a great way to add a really personal touch and honestly, like, dude, let's have a good time. Like, I'm going all out this holiday season. I'm probably gonna steal this uh, placemat idea um, for my family gathering, which might get a little expensive because I have a huge family. But it's okay, I wanna have a good time this holiday season. There we go, oh my goodness, that came out great. We've been locked up for two years, guys. Let's have a good time. Thick thighs and pumpkin and pies. Man, that is hilarious. I love it. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I didn't pick this artwork, but I'm so glad that Ronnie did because it's hilarious and it's awesome and it's very good looking. Shows off exactly how cool this Black Series 15 by 15 inch is. I want to say this is like, actually, now that I'm looking at it, this might be like a 14 inch circle. I don't have my tape measure on me, but 
I know that this, this graphic is like 10 inches tall, and I don't know how wide. Anyways, let's go take this back over to the table. I'm gonna, we have one more uh, really cool transfer to show you guys, really cool project. But before we move on, let me just double check in with everybody. If you're just tuning in, we're having a huge sale right now. Our Black Friday early access sale is running. And yeah, I've said it 4,000 times today, but I'm gonna say it uh, just a few more because that's it's part of my job. I gotta, I gotta be annoying sometimes. I'm sorry, <laughs> don't hate me. All right, so let's see if we have any questions here. Okay. Does the press come smaller? Oh, that is such a great question. I'm glad you asked. Yes, it does. Look at this little cutie right here. Look at this little cutie. This is the M-Press 9 by 12 inch heat press. It's a swing away model. So as you can see, it, you open it up and it swings all the way around. Yep. Oh yes, you see it. You are seeing that correctly. Swings all the way around uh, digital, uh, time and temperature adjustment. Uh, the only thing is on the side here, actually, let me show you. The only thing that's different from this versus the larger other presses that this one, the timer is manual. It's such a tiny heat press. We had to, <laughs> we couldn't fit the sensor on here. So yeah, but man, this is a steal. It's 10% off right now. Uh, th and this heat press, by the way, this is a nine inch by 12 inch. Uh, if I wanted to, I could fit, I didn't, power there's no power plug right but i did want to show it off but yeah i could do like two koozies at once on here this is more than enough heat press uh for your i would say kids clothes through like adult large you can't i actually did a video where i i did one of my shirts a 3xl t-shirt on a small heat press it's possible uh it's just like with so much fabric hanging out the edge like it gets a little messy um but yeah this is a kick butt little tiny workhorse i love it uh if i wore smaller t-shirts I'd, I'd rock one of these but hey you're looking at a big boy so i need a big heat press anyways uh so yeah so we're gonna i'm gonna show you how to press these koozies right now but look at this check this out we just did this pup right here this custom placemat absolutely fantastic um i dig it then we did this apron so if you're cooking, hey, make yourself a custom apron. This is so dope. Again, this is sublimation, so extremely permanent. It's not going to bleed in the wash. It's not going to fade in the wash uh, or anything like that. This is, and oh, and then it's soft as heck. You cannot feel it um, at all. Like this, it's, it's, again, the sublimation on polyester is the softest, the most permanent, the most vibrant colors you could possibly get. It beats anything, screen, DTG, I don't care who you are. It's gonna look the best. Sublimation on white polyester, go for it. Okay, so I have like four of these. So let me grab my scissors real quick. I'm gonna show you how we do this. Actually, no, no, I don't think I need my scissors because I could just, ooh, that's gonna be interesting. Give me two seconds, guys. Oh, sorry for that sniffle. Give me two seconds, I'm gonna grab my heat tape. Sorry, had to get some hand sanity. All right, uh, we're staying safe here at HPM. Okay, so check this out. I got my heat tape here. So here's what I'm gonna do. Let's get this out of the way. I'm gonna show you how you can make these custom can coolers for your Thanksgiving. Well, these are actually gonna be for our, well, we have one side. This is gonna be for our family Thanksgiving. And then we have another graphic for our Friendsgiving. How cool is that? For this family Thanksgiving, uh, this is gonna be for the Smith family Thanksgiving 2021. And so here's what I'm gonna do.
So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to center this can cooler with the graphic. And this is why we do the, um, this is why we print our image bigger than the, than the actual product. So we get what's called full bleed. So this is going to cover my cooler edge to edge. Now to keep these in place, I'm just going to get a little bit of heat tape. And I'm just going to fix it in place on top and bottom. And that's going to be so they don't go anywhere. They don't shift. They don't move when I take them over to my heat press. So we got some family Thanksgiving ones, but now what if we wanted to do Friendsgiving? No worry, I got you and your friends covered, baby. All right, so we're gonna center these up. Same thing, I got my heat tape. Just gonna tape them in place. There we go. And that's it. So these are ready for one side. So we're going to be able to do one side each. We're going to be able to do one side each. And then once they've cooled off, then we would flip them over and then just press the other side. So I'm going to take these over. They're heat taped in place, so they shouldn't really move. Of course, I do still want to be careful. So let's head back on over to our heat press. And do I have an extra? Yes, I do. So first things first, you, usually I would do this before the press is even hot. Um, but since it's already hot, uh, what I'm going to do is just make sure that my pressure is OK. It should still be good from the last one, because these items are about the same thickness. But you always want to double check before you actually press. So I'm going to lower this. Ooh. And you know what? This is actually a little bit too much pressure. I guess these are a little thicker than I thought. So I'm going to loosen it. Go back again. OK, that's a decent pressure. I think I want it just a little bit more. Now, with these, uh, if you put too much pressure, they could squish just a little bit. Don't really want that happening. Uh, so let's just, that's actually a really good pressure. There we go. So now these are my testers. I don't, those are going to cool off. Now, these, when I place them, they're going to go with the paper side up. So I want to protect my, my uh, rubber pad. Sorry about this, guys. I'm going to tear it, cover your ears. There we go. So I'm just going to protect my lower pad with some parchment paper. And the way these are set up is I, I don't think I'm going to fit all four at once, will I? I might, actually. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, you know what? That should work. I think I feel like I say that too many times to be considered a professional. That should work. People are always ask me, hey, will this work? I'm like, I don't know. Should work. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get four. Now, I am going to add a little bit of time. Usually, I'm, I'm on for 60 seconds at 385 degrees. I'm going to go up to 75 just because we have four pieces, and, I want, and they're a little thick. So I do want to make sure that they get fully sublimated. So I, they're inside my parchment paper sandwich. Everything's taped and positioned, ready to go. I have four koozies on here. Let's do it. OK, 75 seconds on the clock. Let me see if we have any questions. If you have any questions, drop them in. I have my iPad here. Taking all your questions. Bridget, yes, that is absolutely correct. Bridget Young is asking, are the swingaways the ones you would need if you wanted to press awards plaques. I don't see an awards plaque in here, but we do carry them. They're pretty thick. They're about as thick. Okay, so excuse me for that sniffle, guys. So this is a sublimation wood photo panel. Look how cool that is. This is actual wood, right? The front has been sanded, smooth, polished, and coated uh, to take your sublimation transfers. This is about as thick as the awards plaque. It's a, I want to say it's like half an inch, three eighths. I don't know. It's a little thick. Um, you technically could fit this in a clamshell, but you're going to have an easier time on a swing away. So Bridget, yes, to answer your question, yes, a swing away would be the preferred heat press for that particular product, although uh, you technically could. If you are going to use your clamshell, remove the lower rubber pad, um, put like a t-shirt to protect your, your plaque, and go from there. Oh, ties faster than I thought. Okay. All right, 
Now, sometimes when you open it up, you might see that the paper has gotten a little toasty. That's fine. So you see how, how it looks like a little toasty brown? The paper, that's, that's how it's supposed to be. So again, we're just going to give it a second, a quick second to let it, uh, if there's any fumes or any, yeah, whatever, we're going to let that all air out for a second. And then what I'll do, another reason why they're taped in places, when I do this, I could just peel them, right? You don't want this shifting. Again, shifting is bad. So I'm just going to just pull them off as quick as possible. Yes, they are hot, but I'm Superman, so I'm good. Dude, look how cool. Okay, that is pretty hot. I'm not going to lie. And look at that. We have one side of the can coolers done, 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 done. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm going to take these over to the table so we can have a look. And then for the other side, you would just repeat the process. You would let these cool down completely. And you would just repeat the process. So yeah, the other sides are blank still. Duh, we just did one side. So of course, you take the heat tape off. If there's any heat tape still on them, uh, you're going to let them cool. So, you see this. So the orange ones, if you can't, actually, I think you can see it. So this one, uh, this one's two-sided. So don't use the same graphic. You'd want to switch graphics for the other side. But here we go. We have 2021 Friends Giving, and the other says, talk turkey to me. Hilarious. I love it. And then these are going to have the same graphic on both sides. They're going to say the Smith Family Thanksgiving 2021. This is a great way to add a personal touch to your get-togethers this holiday season. I'm a huge fan of these. Let me grab the iPad, see if we have any questions that are still uh, lingering. See if anybody has anything that I missed out on. Let's see. What heat press do I, am I using? Thank you, Anna. So to, sub, to sublimate these over here, really quick, let's just show it on camera, Alex, if you don't mind. This is the Black Series 15-inch by 15-inch. Heat press. This is on sale right now, 10% off. Okay, I'm gonna come back over here. On sale, 10% off. I love that press. This is a smaller one. If you're only doing like small novelty items like keychains, smaller photo panels, here, you know what? I'm gonna do something really quick. All these items that I'm about to bring on stage, or on stage, and I'm about to show you, all of these can be done with this 9 by 12 inch heat press just to give you an idea of the cool stuff you could do so this this is the little basketball court right you're only going to press the backboard you add the, the hoop later this backboard fits on the 9 by 12 so you could do this actually this one maybe oh yeah this one could so this is like pushing the limits this is an eight inch square but it fits you could sublimate it on this little 9 by 12 inch this is really cool you don't, I wouldn't really go more than eight inches. Uh, this, so you're just gonna sell, this is a toe hitch. We just did a video on this. The insert, you could fit like two or three at least on here. Uh, this is a little makeup bag. Fits, there's so many cool things. Excuse me. There are so many cool things that you could fit on here uh, on this little 9 by 12 so I love this. I'm a huge fan of this heat press, and this one's on sale as well. So very cool. Any other questions here? Why do I put parchment paper on the bottom and the top? So when we're setting up these, these particular, right, we're setting it up, and so this ink is facing down. Uh, did I already throw it away? I did already throw it away, right? Oh, no, I didn't. It's right here. So I don't know if you can see it. But there's a little bit of ink that came off the transfer sheet. And it actually, I don't know if you can tell, it very lightly stained this parchment. This is the parchment paper that was on the bottom plate. Uh, and so if I didn't have this parchment paper, these little imprints, again, I'm not sure if you could see it on camera. I'm sorry if you can't. Um, but these little, it, these little like, it's like kind of like the bleeding area, right? That bleed would have gotten onto my onto the lower pad, the rubber pad, uh, silicone pad, on my heat press. Now the problem with that 
is if I were to heat press a white shirt, especially a white shirt on there, this little stain could re-imprint onto my next garment. So that's why it's important. I don't care about this parchment paper. I'll just throw it away, let it take the hit, you know? Uh, and then on top, on top, I kind of didn't have to since this was pressed face down on the press. Not a lot of ink is going to escape upwards into the heating element, but just to be safe, I cover it on top as well. So yeah, it's, it's just a good, it's just a good practice. Um, this is not, <laughs> it's not the, the big parchment paper companies aren't paying us to, to make you use too much. Uh, honestly, it's just a good practice to keep your workstation nice and clean because if you do get some sublimation ink and stain the base on your press, you got to flip it over, you got to do some other workarounds and it's just going to slow down your production. So an extra sheet of parchment paper ensures that everything runs nice and smooth. It keeps you efficient. And yeah, again, just another good practice. Okay, any other questions here? Let's see, let's see, let's see what we got. I'm loading up all of my, all my YouTube family. What's up? Oh, that's a good point. So Parisian Nicole is saying bleed through. And if you're doing shirts, put paper inside the shirt too. Yes, yes, yes. If you're going to do sublimation onto a t-shirt, most 100% polyester t-shirts are pretty thin. Uh, so sometimes what you press on the top, it bleeds through to the other side. And so yeah, put some parchment paper inside. That is a very great tip. Anyone know where you can find the hardboard placemats? Oh, that's interesting. I know we do have some hardboard blanks. I know we do still have some hardboard blanks uh, on our website. I suppose you could use them uh, as a placemat. That's actually a really cool idea. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we have a few questions. I know Ronnie answered this on YouTube, but yes, this is a placemat. Is that upside down? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so this is a placemat that we just found on Amazon. It's a quilted placemat. Here's what's important. 100% polyester or at least like 80%, 70, I don't know. You want a poly rich material so that way your sublimation transfers look fantastic all the time, every time. Uh, yeah, so 100% polyester. Same thing with this. Um, we just found this apron, white polyester apron on Amazon uh, for this uh, project. Now, what, what you will find on heat, oh, where'd it go? At heatpressnation.com, what you will find are these really cool sublimation can coolers. I just press the front. You would just repeat the process on the back to do both sides. These are awesome. They always come out great. I'm a big fan of those. And the can coolers you can find. Eh, get it? Can coolers, you can't. Anyways. Uh, the can coolers, you'll find those over at heatpressnation.com. Okay, any other questions here? So good to see everybody. Yes, best channel on YouTube. Happy Thanksgiving. Honestly, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I'm going to be celebrating Thanksgiving all month long. And uh, yeah, super excited. By the way, if you're just tuning in, the presses that I was using today for these really cool sublimation Thanksgiving projects, these are all available at heatpressnation.com. Coming back over. They're all available at heatpressnation.com. Some of them are even on sale. Like that little 9 by 12 M press you just saw. This 15 by 15 inch uh, black series heat press and more. We got the Craft Pros on sale. We got some signature series on sale. So check it out uh, over at heatpressnation.com. You can see it right there. Oh, right there. Right there. Right? Oh, no. Right, right there. Yeah, there you go. You see it right there on your screen. Uh, lots of stuff already on sale for Black Friday and more to come. And if you want to be the first to know when we have new items added to our Black Friday sale, do me a favor, text the word HEAT, that's H-E-A-T, text the word HEAT to 20198. Uh, you can sign up for text updates. Uh, if you prefer it in your email inbox, you can go over to heatpressnation.com, scroll all the way to the top and to the right of the page, and then you will see where it says subscribe to the email newsletter if you prefer emails. Uh, yeah, you'll be the first to know when we have new sales. So Black Friday started for us at HPN. It started like two weeks ago or maybe three. I lost track. At least two. And it's going to keep going. So Black Friday lasts like, in the end, it'll probably last like six, to, I don't know, eight weeks. I have no idea. A really long time. 
so yeah, so we're super excited about it. We're very glad to have some of our favorites fully stocked. So head on over to heatpressnation.com. Uh, if you have any questions at all, you could shoot us an email. Uh, you can reach out to support at uh, heat.press slash support. I believe it's what it is, maybe. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. Heat.press slash support. Uh, and you can also give us a call at 800-215-0894. Last questions that I'm missing out. Thank you so much for tuning in, my pal Stevie Steve. So cool. Tanya says, happy early Thanksgiving. Hey, I'll take it. Thank you so much. What settings do I use for my printer to get them bright products? That's a great question, Melissa. So usually in Sawgrass uh, Print Manager, uh, what I'll do is I'll set my color mode to vivid. And I've noticed that really helps with the color saturation. Also, you do want to make sure that you're getting a good press time on your, on your products. You don't want to overpress because then everything looks a little burnt and kind of crispy brown. Uh, so you do want to do some testing. I always recommend to everybody, when you're sublimating, if it's a new product, make sure you have a few extras to test with, just so that way you can fine tune your settings and on the finished product that you're going to be selling to your customers, you have the process down, it looks beautiful. Take notes. Like once you finally get the right settings, have a little notebook with all your settings and notes like, hey, medium pressure works best for this, you know, this time and temperature combo. Trust me, taking notes goes a long, long way in uh, keeping your shop running efficient and uh, minimizing your product waste. Okay. Oh, so cool. Diane says, I cannot wait for my press. I got a 15 by 15 Black Series Swing Away. Gets it on Friday. Very, very cool. So that would be this press, but a Swing Away version. Kind of like how that other one swings, like you comboed them. Anyways, I'm super excited. That's a great, great heat press. Okay, let's see. Okay, last, let's see. We got any questions, anything? I just, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. And if you don't want to miss anything, again, text the word HEAT to 20198. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, like this video and make sure that you're following our page for all of our content. We have like new videos coming out every week. We cover everything from white toner laser printers to sublimation like you're seeing today, heat transfer vinyl, of course, and lots of other stuff. I'm looking for a little thicker t-shirt for sublimating. Uh, this is Parisian Nicole. What is the poly blend you recommend? I want the color to pop and not fade too much in the wash. Uh, I use this 65% uh, poly, 35% uh, cotton t-shirt for sublimation. It's a little thin though. It's the Toltex, I think it's like the 241. So it's exclusive to TSC Apparel. T is in Thomas, S is in Sunday. C is in Charlie, apparel.com. Uh, you could check it out there. It's, I, I think it's the 241, the Toltex 241. That's what I use. It is a little thin, but I think the balance between cotton and poly feel, it's, it's nice. It's not perfect, but it's good, and it's not that expensive. So that's what I'm using personally. This shirt, by the way, this is not sublimation. This is, I love this shirt. So you can see, yes, the color is a little faded. This is a 100% cotton t-shirt, and this is Nina Jet Pro Soft Stretch. This shirt is about as old as my career here at Heat Press Nation. It's about five years old. And I used to wear it every week, and now it's really soft. I'm not wearing it as frequently. This is like my chill shirt. Um, but I have to do laundry, so I brought my chill shirt to work today. But it's a good thing to show off. So this is about as soft. This is as soft now as um, this is as soft as sublimation. So the cool thing about Jet Pro Soft Stretch, works on 100% cotton. After a few washes, it'll wash out. It'll fade a little bit, so this is not as bold and vibrant as it used to be. This is the Challenger Space Shuttle, by the way. Um, so this is not as bold and vibrant as it used to be, but it's soft as heck. It's light. You literally, I literally cannot feel it. This is as close to sublimation as you're going to get to on cotton. Um, Nina Jet Pro Soft Stretch. I've seen some people trash it online. They're like, oh, that paper sucks. And I'm like, maybe it's not the paper. <laughs> maybe it's the user. I don't know because I have this five-year-old t-shirt that says otherwise. Hey, that's just me. Uh, if you have questions on Nina Jet Pro Soft Stretch, check it out on our, on our, uh, on our uh, what is it called? It's called the website. Check it out on our website. Uh, we have a few videos on YouTube here as well. But yeah, and this, is, this was like an 11 by 17 inch transfer that I just cut. And anyways, I love this shirt. Um, I was really just looking for an excuse to talk about my shirt. I love this shirt. Okay, very cool. 
Um, okay, last question. T Town T shirt says, I was just thinking that would be a good one to take to a show for my small thing for a small thing. And a bit. oh yeah, that's cool. So the good thing about having a smaller press is you could demonstrate things at trade shows and it's so easy. That nine by twelve dude carried around all day long. Put it in a back oh it won't fit in a backpack, but you know what I mean. Yeah, so very, very cool. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for me here at uh Facebook Live or YouTube Live, Heat Press Nation Live, whatever we are. <laughs> Last thing I do want to say is we have a Facebook group that is super duper cool. It's the Heat Press Nation uh, Creators Group. It's on Facebook and you can see it there. So if you type in this URL to your in your browser, heat.press slash FB group, it's going to take you straight to the group. Otherwise, just go to the groups page and type in Heat Press Nation Creators and you'll get sent right there. Please join. Lots of great discussions happening there. Lots of cool people just kind of showing off their work and making me jealous that I wish I had cool ideas like them. Um, but yeah, it's really great for inspiration, for answering questions. Lots of questions have already been answered in that group, which is cool because sometimes I'm like, wait, what was that t-shirt recommendation? And you just go into the search bar and you type in like, you know, t-shirt recommendation or best shirt. And you'll see tons of threads, lots of great comments from people who are actually using this stuff. So it's really cool if you're new to the Heat Press community. Uh, I definitely recommend that you join us on Facebook. Once again, that's the Heat Press Nation Creators Facebook group. That's going to do it for me. It's time for today. Before I let you go, I have to remind you that our Black Friday sale is running right now. Yes, it's barely November 2nd. I don't care. I'm already listening to Christmas music, and we're already having our Black Friday sale. So head on over to heatpressnation.com for more information. You can find this press and more at, like, this one's 10% off, which, like, dude, we haven't had a sale like this since, like, 2019. So it's good to be back. Good to be back with our Black Friday sale. If you want to be the first to know about the new items that are going on sale every week now through Black Friday, text the word HEAT. That's H-E-A-T to 20198. You see it right there somewhere. Text the word HEAT to 20198. Once again, I'm Jared with Heat Press Nation. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you around. Thank <music> you.